Hello, my name is Laluca, and in this video I'm going to talk about space figures. Well, in this case about hexagonal pyramid. So this one right here is a figure, and here there is some basic information about it. So let's start. The name is hexagonal pyramid. It has seven vertex. They are shown with the blue circles. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven at the top. There are 12 edges. The edges are the black lines. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. It has 7 faces. We can see them better in the 2D shape or also called draft. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the base 7. Its dimensions are 5 cm long and 12 cm high. So next, types of faces and its area. We have 6 isosceles triangles with 12 cm this side and 5 cm long. So to figure out the area of the triangle, we must know the base and the high. So we know the base, but we don't know the high. So to discover the high, we must do the Pythagorean theorem. So this theorem says that the hypotenuse, the longest side, squared, equals to the sum of the two other sides, both squared. So we change this equation. And we have 12 squared equals to x squared plus 2.5 squared. So 144 equals x squared plus 6.25. So we swap the x with the 144. And we have x squared equals 144 minus 6.25. So to discover the x, we must calculate the square root of 137.75. So the height is equal to 11.74 centimeters. So now that we know the height, we can calculate the area of the triangle. So the area of the six triangles is equal to six times one triangular area. So six times in brackets base times high, close brackets divided by two, equals six times in brackets 11.74 times five, close brackets divided by two, is the same as six times brackets 70 sorry 58.7 divided by 2 close brackets equals to at the end 176 very important square centimeters so now we must figure out the pyramids base area the regular hexagon so the to calculate the area we need the perimeter and the apothe, but they are still unknown, so we must discover them. So the perimeter is the sum of all the sides. So six because there are six sides, and five because there because it's the size of each side. So six times five equals thirty centimeters. So the apothe um, it's this one right here and uh, we must figure it out by doing the Pythagorean theory remember well if you don't you must check this again so let's start 5 squared equals 2.5 squared plus a squared so 8 squared equals 18.75 so the apotheme equals 4.3 centimeters the formula of the area is brackets perimeter times apotheme uh, close brackets divided by 2 equals brackets 30 times 4.3 close brackets divided by 2 at the end equals to 64.5 very important again squared centimeters so this area will help us to discover the volume 
So now the difficult part is finally over. Now let's concentrate about the surface area and the volume. So the total area is equal to the sum of the triangular area and the hexagonal area. So this is the same as 176 plus 7064.5 is equal to 240.5 squared centimeters. So now, finally, to determine the volume, uh, we must use this formula that is brackets base area times high close brackets divided by 3 so this is the same as brackets 74.5 times 12 close brackets divided by 3 so the volume is equal to 258 very important cubic centimeters so that's all. I hope I explained myself clearly and uh, you understood all. If you didn't, then I'm very sorry and I'll keep improving. So see ya!